layers of the articular cartilage. The articular cartilage is made of many layers. If you look at the joint, that will be the top of the articular cartilage. If you magnify the joint, you will find the cartilage, the subchondral bone, and the cancellous bone. How many layers are in the articular cartilage? There are four layers for the articular cartilage. The superficial zone, the middle zone, the deep zone, and the calcified zone. So, in every layer, there will be some changes. These layers will differ in the chondrocytes, in the morphology, and size and orientation of the collagen bundles, and in the amount of water present, and in the amount of proteoglycan present. We start with the superficial zone, which is about 10 to 15 percent. Another name for the articular cartilage layer is the tangential layer. The superficial zone is really a thin layer, but an important layer. You find that the cartilage fibers are parallel to the surface. The chondrocytes are elongated and parallel to the axis of the articular cartilage. It has the highest concentration of collagen, means it has the highest tensile strength, and it has the highest concentration of water and the lowest concentration of proteoglycans. It has less cells than the deep zone. You don't want proteoglycan here because it will swell. You don't want the cartilage to swell in this area. This is the area connected to the motion of the articular cartilage, so you have to have a high tensile strength. You have to have a lot of collagen and some water, but you don't need proteoglycan. You don't need the cartilage to swell. So both the cells and the collagen fibers are pounded by the pressure and become flattened and elongated along the long axis of the joint. The middle zone is the transition zone. It is the zone between the superficial and the deep. The chondrocytes and the collagen fibers are oriented randomly. In the middle cartilage layer, you'll find the collagen in oblique orientation. And you can see the disparity between the arrangement of the structure in the superficial and the arrangement of the structure in the deep zone. So you can imagine the transition zone is really disorganized because they don't know which zone they belong to. The deep zone, it's about 30%. The collagen fibers are perpendicular to the surface. There are more cells and they are round and they are arranged in columns and are perpendicular to the joint. The deep zone has the highest concentration of proteoglycans, and it has the lowest concentration of water. You don't need water inside the cartilage. In the deep zone, the chondrocytes are arranged in columns, and the collagen fibers are oriented vertical to the articular cartilage. The deep layer is strong in compression, and then the fourth layer is the calcified cartilage, and then the bone. So the calcified cartilage will start at the type mark, and it has type 10 collagen. It is a transition zone to the bone. The calcified zone is the transitional zone between the cartilage and the subchondral bone. There is a tide mark that goes over the calcified zone. The tide mark is the boundary between the calcified and the uncalcified layers of the articular cartilage. The tide mark separates the deep zone from the calcified zone. So the tide mark is seen mainly in the mature 
articular cartilage of the joint, not cartilage of osteochondroma, for example. This is the chart that compares the difference in arrangement of different structures, especially between the superficial zone and the deep zone. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.